Hi, this is Dr. HMS again, and we are going to continue with our video presentation. By the way, I like doing video presentations. I hope you like them as compared to the cartoons and the audio presentations. We're going to talk about first aid for thermal burns today on the Medical Information Channel. So what is first aid? Whenever we hear first aid, it actually means the emergency or immediate care we should give to a person who is injured until full medical treatment is available for that person. What happens at a burn incident scene? The person is up in flames. The person has been boiled by hot water, by boiling water, or by hot boiling oil. What do you do? You are at the burn scene. Always take the safe approach. S-A-F-E. Remember, shout for help so that you can get some assistance. A, assess the scene quickly to ensure that there are no other things that are endangering you. Assess all the things that could actually lead to the patient being better or even worse. F, make sure there is no further danger. That is, make sure that the flames are not reaching the patient. Make sure the boiling water is not still pouring to a nearby place close to the patient. And then E, evaluate that casualty as soon as possible. So we should try as much as possible to protect the burnt person from further harm, if you can do so safely. For example, if there is a nearby fire extinguisher and you're able to use it properly, make sure the person you're helping is not in contact with the source of the burn by immediately extinguishing the fire. Now, in this presentation, we're going to talk about how to offer first aid to thermal burn injuries. And when I say thermal burn injuries, I mean flame burn injuries, for example, uh, due to a petrol tanker explosion, uh, due to a fire incident at home, due to a gas explosion, a gas cylinder explosion at home. Uh, these are all referred to as flame burn injuries. While scald burn injuries are injuries that occur as a result of hot boiling liquids, for example, hot teas, hot boiling water, hot oils, uh, well frying and the like. So what do we do as much as possible, as quickly as possible, please the victim from the burning premises. If you or if you are the person that is, that is actually burnt or you're very close to the person who is being burnt, either you or the person should stop, drop and roll on the floor. This will help extinguish the flames. In the presence of smoke, crawl on the floor to avoid inhaling the noxious substances. And then as you're crawling or as you're trying to get out of that place, if it's in, if it's in an enclosed area, breathe through a wet handkerchief if possible. Pour water on the victim, tepid water, that is water that's not too hot, not too cold, sort of like water from a tap, and then wrap the victim in a blanket. Make certain that the person burned is breathing. If needed, please begin rescue breathing if you know how to do this. If the person has any jewelry, for example, bangles, earrings, necklaces, bracelets around the neck, the wrists, the forearms, please remove them immediately. Belts as well and any other restrictive items, especially from around those burned areas, because these places will burn rapid, will swell rapidly, and 
one might not be able to take them off, thereby worsening the patient's condition. Now, the person may actually have other associated injuries, for example, fractures. If that is so, they should be splinted accordingly. And the person should not eat or drink anything. We should reassure both the victim and the family, console them. Now, try and get some tepid clean water and irrigate the wound with water on time, please. Don't immerse large, severe burns in water because that could lead to a serious loss of body temperature. The person may become hypothermic. So cool the burn, hold the burned area cool, running water, or apply a cool, wet compress until the pain eases. So elevate the burned area. For example, if it's the limb and um, you have some sort of uh, bandage nearby, some cotton bandage, you can actually improvise by making a sling to elevate that limb. Raise the limb above the level of the heart if possible. Then watch out for signs of shock. Signs and symptoms of shock include fainting episodes, the person may appear pale looking, or he or she may be breathing in a notably shallow fashion. If there are blisters, that is fluid filled blisters, we are actually protecting in the short term against infection. So don't break the blisters, please. However, if a blister breaks, clean the area with water, plus or minus mild soap, and apply an antibiotic ointment if it's nearby. This applies to minor burn injuries, minor to moderate burn injuries. However, if a rash appears after applying the antibiotic ointment or any other ointment or emollient, please stop using the ointment. Yes, we can actually apply anything that is cooling to the area, a lotion, aloe vera gel, Vaseline. This helps to prevent drying and provide some relief. Cover the area of the burn. Look for a cool, moist bandage or a clean cloth nearby and wrap up. Make sure that you don't use any fluffy cotton because this may lead to leaving some debris in the burn. So wrap it loosely to avoid putting pressure on the burn skin, that is the sterile gauze bandage. So bandaging actually keeps air off the area, it reduces pain and protects the blistered skin. Of course, remove all non-sticky clothing on the patient. Cover the patient with a clean sheet or a blanket and immediately transfer to a hospital facility. So, hey, don't sweat. Whatever you have at home, use it. For example, if you have cling film that's used for wrapping pastries, cakes at home, you can actually use that um, as a form of a dressing, a short-term dressing over the burn area. Just improvise as much as possible and then send the person immediately to a hospital facility. So did you like the presentation? Would you like some more? Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section and what you'd like me to discuss even further. Subscribe, like, share, and of course, click on bell notifications for more medical information at your fingertips. Own your own health. Bye.